As many of you will have seen by now, it was announced today that Cyril Arbitabul has left Renault, effective immediately. It had been assumed that Cyril would have been continuing with the team as they transitioned to Alpine, albeit perhaps in a different role, but that's clearly now not the case. So what's happened here? Cyril had worked with Renault since 2001, but in 2012 left to join the Caterham Formula 1 team as team principal. By 2014, though, he was back with Renault as the managing director of Renault Sport F1 and served as the head of their works team, playing a key role in getting Renault back on the grid in 2016. As far as any of us were aware, he was set to be the team principal of Alpine this year, but Renault have now confirmed his departure. Laurent Rossi, director of strategy and business development of Group Renault, will be leading the Alpine brand, and it's expected that Cyril's position as team principal will be taken by Marcin Budkowski. While I'd like to think this is just Cyril's way of getting out of having a honey badger tattooed on his rear, there seems to be more afoot. The Renault team have certainly had a rough few seasons, but 2020 seemed to show them starting to come back as a strong midfield team, with promise for more in the 2021 season. Some fan speculation seems to suggest that Fernando Alonso joining the team could have had something to do with it, but I struggle to see how or why Alonso would have had any influence on this decision, and if Cyril had objections to Alonso's return, he'd have put in his notice last year. But fans do love a good conspiracy theory, so expect to see those comments bouncing around the forums for a little while yet. Far more likely is a differing of opinion between the higher-ups that couldn't be reconciled. This could be anything from pay and job roles, which is a bit boring, but likely, to something more interesting, such as a possible change of heart regarding supplying Red Bull with engines in 2022. Or maybe Cyril and Luca De Meo, who became Renault's new CEO last year, haven't developed a good working relationship. Management shakeups will always result in change, and Cyril might have walked away rather than get involved. Whatever the reason, Cyril left with a statement thanking Group Renault for having trusted him for so many years and saying he wishes them every success, proving that he's still a gentleman. Cyril, you'll be missed, and no matter what, you'll be leaving Formula One with a permanent reminder of some of the successes you had, possibly inked onto your forehead. What do you guys think? Is there more behind this story? Or has Cyril just decided to call it a day? Let us know in the comments below, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe to the channel.